Okay. I thought they sent that time thing because that's the model of the time mechanism that sends uh, the original crew back in time. So I thought they sent that back with them. I might be wrong, or there might be multiple of them. I don't know. We need you back at <laughs> oh well. Oh, we're really close to the end of the game. Like, we're really close, because I remember that turret being, like, one of the last things you do. Oh! Okay. Keep forgetting there's no there's no road there. I have to be on top of that a little bit more. Yeah, I think, I think we might have time to finish it today. Oh, God. Ah! Yeah, that infinite flying glitch, that's nice. <laughs> you just get the infinite uh, eco power or secret or whatever, and then you can just literally fly forever. So if we do beat this today, which it's looking like we're on track to do so, uh, I'm going to re I'll give the game a review. Not like an in-depth review, but just my 10-point review system. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. A lot of it's subjective, but we'll see. I'd like to review it actually, but we'll see. We will see. Okay. There's not as many marauders, thankfully. Just that one batch that spawned in front of us, but they're way behind us now, so we don't have to worry. These games are so... Man, they really don't make games like this anymore. Oh, God. Yeah, that yeah, that is the problem, the camera. The camera's not the best. I mean, if you remember from this era of gaming, like, camera camera controls were a problem. Like, they weren't, they weren't the best. They just simply were not the best. Because I remember that being like a review point for most like outlets was that, oh, hey, the, con the camera sucks. So, like, I remember that being a thing on like on like G4 TV when they would do like when they would do ratings on whatever whatever show they were using to do the ratings. Um, actually, let me look at something really quick. I'm just going to look at the save progress. 83%. Okay. And then I wanted to look at secrets. That was my bad. Uh, secrets. A dark jack homing attacks. Turbo jet board in desert. Yeah, nothing about. Nothing about unlimited light and dark eco. Uh, let's see. These are these should be weapon upgrades. What about eco upgrades? Crazy stuff. Expert options. Probably expert options or cheats. It's probably cheats. It's probably what it is. It probably definitely falls under cheats. Oh shit! The metalheads are actually here, or the dark the dark eco beings, whatever you want to call them. Hey, at least like. At least, like, all of the citizens... All the citizens are using their Second Amendment rights. <laughs> they're, they're definitely, uh... They're definitely exercising those rights. Like, literally all of them are armed to the teeth. Look at that! They are just walloping them. Okay, no music in the background for some reason. I guess it didn't load correctly. What a glitch, remember. Devs didn't design camera to follow you as they didn't expect. I know. I know. But it's crazy that the camera's always at a fixed point. It never goes up or down. Or, like, it hits an invisible ceiling designed specifically for the camera, and that's it. All right. Oh. Okay, that bugged out. Yeah, I, I, dude, I am. Trust me. Shoot 
This isn't the... Yeah, the, I guess this is the thing that's... That, uh, okay. Oh, I gotta hit the tentacles. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't even... Oh, okay. It's fine. You gotta hit the circles. I was just... I was just shooting rounds into them. Crap. For some reason, I think this is inverted when it's not. Uh, okay, you gonna hit the legs there, buddy? Uh, okay. Get way out there. Yeah, so they're straight up doing a full planetary invasion. Yeah, the story is, like, it's... It's kind of loose. Like, it's kind of loosely connected. I don't know. Oh well, I can take a hit. Man, this is this is as fast as you can fire, because I keep trying to like go really really fast and nothing happens. That and half these shots don't land where I want. Okay, how many of those are they gonna fucking shoot at me? Holy shit. Like four in a row right there. Like, I know I'm supposed to shoot them out of the air, but like, damn, like, how else am I gonna kill these things? Come on. Hopefully this is the last one. Please let it be the last one. Okay. Uh, oh no. What? I forgot that they came into the city. Um, okay. Literally some War of the Worlds type stuff. Man, it sucks that you can't, some, like, the buildings block uh, some of their weak points. Come on. Almost. Almost done. Okay. The mission hard and boring. <laughs> Times are grim, but when I was the leader of Haven City, times seemed grim then too. Take hope, even the smallest weed finds shelter within the rocks. Wait, you were once the leader of Haven City? I came to the throne during the middle of the Metalhead Wars. Baron Praxis betrayed me and banished me to the Wasteland. The rest you know. Anyway, here is your third and final battle amulet. You are one of us now. That war amulet is a beacon. If ever you need us, use it to call, and we will be there. And from me, a welcoming gift. This rare precursor armor is said to have been worn by Mar himself. I was saving it for my own son. But right now, you should wear it in this difficult time. Thanks. I don't have anything for you. You give us all hope, Jack. That is gift enough. Welcome to the clan. Doesn't even cover his vital organs. Okay, uh, speaking of stories, what is the best movie ever? Why is it The Matrix? Oh, God. So I've never... There's a ton of movies I've never seen. My wife and I are trying to rectify that. Uh, but I've never seen any of The Matrix movies. And we just, like, like what was it two or three weeks ago? We went through all the Indiana Jones films because we never seen those either. So we're working on them. We're wanting to get one of those, uh, we're wanting to get one of those posters as like just pretty much a huge checklist of movies. Yeah, that's something we're, we're working on slowly but surely. But honestly, I like, was the best movie ever. I mean, I really like John Carpenter's The Thing. That's a great movie, but I've never seen The Matrix. 
I've seen all the Star Wars. Well, mo like I've seen all the movies, most of the shows. I haven't watched the Soka yet. I'm gonna wait until it's all out before I go watch it. I need to catch up on. I need to finish Rebels. I'm on the last season of it. I need to finish. Or no, finish Rebels. Finish the Bad Batch. Finish. Did Mandalorian come out with a season three? I know they did with season one and two and the Book of Boba Fett. I watched those. I don't know if they've done a Mandalorian season three. I wish honestly they'd go back to the Old Republic before the High Republic of uh, the original trilogy. Just to show like, just to do it. Just to see how well they would do it. But, I mean, it is what it is. Okay. Get back to the tree place. Yeah, we'll probably just finish this. We'll knock this out today. Revu reviewing this is going to be hard because there's a lot. There's a lot here to unpack. And really dissect. Because... Last review for Jack 2, that was pretty straightforward because it was just genuinely a good game and everything worked. Here it's a little less, but we'll see. Because the point of the rating system is supposed to be objective, as, as objective as possible. There's a lot of subjective things in it and that's not, you know, reality all the time. Uh, it looks like we might make it to the end. What hour are we on? We are on hour three, three minute 42. Okay, what are we doing here? Are we just killing things? Is that what we're doing? We're just killing things? I can kill things. Jesus. Okay. Oh, it was on a turret. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Ooh, do I get on the turret? I might. No, 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 you stay off. That's mine. Okay, at least there's only nine of these things, thankfully. They do spawn enemies, however, so that's something to be aware of. Um, I'm pretty sure this isn't the only turret on this map, or this level, rather. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's not the only turret. So now we just move on. But yeah, we, I don't know what the next set of movies we're going to go through is. Uh, we we actually we started all the uh, the Avengers films in timeline order because we've seen most of them, you know, because uh, you know we were dating during that time, and uh, that's something we want to do is just to go back and at least look through them or you know watch through them. Uh, we the next one up is Endgame or no not Endgame yeah Endgame yeah because we watched Infinity War. But like by the time like and that was like two years ago we stopped because we like we hammered through them like we ha this is when like black widow was like relatively new uh so um we come from a christian conservative town originally we've moved since then but um i have seen all the harry potter films i've seen every single one of them i've seen most of them in theaters actually because i was a kid and that's what you did um, she, however, on the other hand, has not seen most of them. We started watching those and we kind of gave up because I think life was happening at that time. We just uh, got too busy. If we do go back and watch them, we'll have to watch them from the, the first movie again. We got to the Goblet of Fire, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, we got to the Goblet where uh, Edward Cullen's in it. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of the fucking way. But yeah, we, we've seen, or let's see. No, um, her parents, they're, you know, they're, they're old school Christians, you know, whatever. And, um, you gotta remember, every time anything of magic comes up in the 90s, like Dungeons and Dragons or anything like that, it's automatically associated with satanic cults and all that stuff. So her parents, I don't think they thought it was satanic. I don't think they think that. 
or thought that they might have at some point. But typically what happens is somebody's preacher says, hey, this is not good for the kids. And then people just blindly listen, you know. But like the funny thing is, is like her mom used to be like really like strict and stuff. Like, like even when we were dating, she was kind of like just, you know, very strict and conservative. Now she's like, I don't know what happened. Like she just kind of loosened up a lot. That's the weird thing. But we've since moved, you know, we live in a different state now, so. Ooh, what mini game was it? Oh, you mean uh, the uh, whatever suit it was called in uh, Jack Two? This is the same. This is literally the same thing. I mean, I'll I will give Jack and I'll give Jack Three credit. They give you a lot of mission variety. They really do. They do change it up. As much sense as it does not make, it's still fun. I'll give them that. Gobble the fire was worse. Super cringe. It gets back on course after that one. When I binge watch, I usually really you skip Gobble the fire. Does it? So I don't know enough about the Harry Potter universe. Like I've seen all the films maybe once or twice. I don't know enough to say like what movies you don't really need to watch. Like if you watch, uh, like. Star Wars, you don't have to watch um, episode eight. You don't. There, nothing happens really, other than Luke Skywalker dies. That's really it. Okay, maybe if I didn't run into these. Okay, cross two. One, two. Come on. If he'd stop when I ask him to. There we go. Whoops. Okay, he's just too big for this area. Hopefully I get to like a checkpoint or something and I don't have to deal with doing this all over again but yeah Goblin of Fire um we'll have to rewatch it is, is that's all it is we just got to rewatch it we'll have to rewatch the entire series But yeah, like, are there any, like, besides Gobble of Fire, are there any other movies that you can just actually just skip outright? Because I feel like every one of the games gives you a little, or not games, each one of the movies gives you a little something towards the climax. So. Okay, so jumping on them stuns them. Yeah, I do not have enough health for this. Okay, let's see, there's a box here. Okay, let me guess, I gotta push it. Yes, yeah, it's the exact same, the exact same concept as uh, the suit in Jack 2. I'll probably have to repeat this part of the level because I'm about to die. Well, you do have to watch it, it as major plot points happen in it. I won't spoil, yeah. I know the dude who plays Edward dies. I know a few things, a few of the things that happens. I just don't remember. But um, I have not seen the um, the spinoff movies, Fantastic Beasts. I think that's what they're called. I haven't seen those. I just I, I have no interest. Like I think it, like it's supposed to tell the story of Dumbledore, right? Or like the original members of the of the school. Oh, let me just get to this control panel, maybe. Nope, does nothing. Okay, I have to clear this room. Okay. 
I don't know how many more hits I can take. I'm just trying to, if I can get pretty far, or at least to a checkpoint before I get, oh my God. Just don't die to this stupid lightning thing. I don't even know what I'm supposed to hit. Nah, God damn it. Okay. In regards to the Matrix, don't watch. Oh my God, really? All the way back to the beginning? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, that's a little, that's a little disrespectful. Make me repeat the whole fucking level. Get the fuck out of here, bat. Like I get, I ate a lot of damage for no reason, but like I should not go all the way back to the beginning. In regards to the Matrix, don't watch two and three unless you're really into action scenes. As that's all it has going for it. Okay, I know like the premise of the movies. I know the premise. I don't really know too much about the rest of it though. One movie series I really oh, come on. I have to redo this. Uh, one movie series I kind of like, I do like, but like the later movies become actiony is Alien, because like Alien, it's like Alien One is really good, but then you know it becomes in Aliens, Aliens and Alien Three or whatever the fuck Resurrection, whatever you want to call it, it, they just become action movies, like they're not even, I don't know, I don't know how to put it, they're just eh. Like, I like the aspect of, like, the horror, but it's like, it's hard to pull a horror movie off. Like, it's hard to pull a sequel off of a horror movie. That should destroy it. Hopefully. Come on, go off. Go off. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to pull a horror movie off simply or a sequel to a horror movie a sequel to a horror movie or game sequel to a horror game because like once you already know what the threat is like you know by the end of the first movie they know how to beat it and then you know the second and third and following movies or games like it's just it has to by default become action Like, if you look at, like, say, Dead Space 2 and 3 compared to 1, like, Dead Space 1 was pretty much a horror game, whereas the sequels... The sequels were more action-based. Like, you can't... You, you, the only way to mitigate that, for games at least, is, um... Make it to where you, you can't fight back. That's really the only way you can do anything. I can't believe I have to repeat this shit. Hopefully, I mean, we have more health this time around. But we're going to beat this today. Lost Frontier will be tomorrow, along with Pseudo Regalia. Yeah, I just... Because I really want to do a review on that game. Because, like, my, my thing is, is, like, like, game shouldn't cost as much as they do nowadays. Like, it's still ridiculous. Okay, let's do this again. But yeah, Aliens are good. Like, Alien is a good film series. It just gets a little ridiculous. Starship Troopers is a great series. Okay, I'm jumping way too early is what, that, is what the problem is. Oh, two for one, hell yeah. God damn, I really have to time that just right. There we go. The ship is coming down. What the Dexter? What? Shit, it's really 8:30. Damn. Hello, elevator. Bottom floor. Going up. Come on. I hate being 
one shot. It just seemed for a moment, it, it looked like... No, it couldn't have been. Well, they saw the what the precursors really looked like. Man, it'd be crazy. Be crazy if you've been, if you've been hanging out with one the entire time. All right, next mission. It should be uh, so the ship should be coming out of orbit now, or at least crashing or something. Um, okay, I was about to say, we want to get a map or something? I think we're coming up on the last, no. Yeah, I think we are coming up on the last mission, because that shield's going to take us to, it's going to take us to, uh, the desert, right? Or no, 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 the, the shield is the city, that little city area in the water. That's what it is. I mean, this is solid, like, what, it's been, like, maybe a total of seven hours thus far in the game, so length is pretty solid. You know, it just, like, the story's pacing is really weird. But I'll talk about it during the review. But we do have to go take care of the our friends' place, but we'll, we'll see if we can't stay here a little longer. Or I can just send my wife to go on over there, and I can just drive over later. Because it's only going to be, like, an hour or so. Um, okay, come on. Yeah, another thing that, like, I didn't realize it until just now, like, you have to take these linear paths to the next objective or to the next mission. Like, in the older game, you kind of had more... You had a little bit more choice on how you wanted to go somewhere. Because there would be multiple routes. So your Daxter was originally an elf-like Jag, yeah, and fell into the dark eco and change, yeah. How, how is he a creator now? I don't get it. It's mostly a joke twist, but I mean, so with with uh, Vigor, the bad guy, I think like I don't. So like that's the thing. It's like Daxter fell into dark eco and he became the Otzel. And then Viger, he gets turned into an Otzel by the Precursors. So, I don't know if it's like, they're secretly Precursors and they don't know, or if, um, or if the Precursors can just turn people into, like, they can obviously just turn people into Otzels, into Precursors. But for Jack's case, I don't know, it might just be a gag. Like, we gotta remember the time these games came out, like, they, people would put jokes, people put jokes in the songs. Like a like in a mid hip hop, mid hip hop song, they just throw in like dumb like phone calls and shit like that. So this is the era that came from too. Who knows what era will try to do next with that dark ship? We've got to take him out. And I suppose you know how we can take him. We have a plan, but it's risky. Oh, of course, it couldn't be easy. No, and I'm sure we're on the short list to head up the mission, huh? No, this one's tricky. I'm giving it to Torn and Jinx. What? I suppose you don't think we're good enough, huh? You don't think we can do it! Dax, may I remind you that this team of Daxter, Jack, and Daxter have taken on just about every scary thing this world can throw at us for three! Count them, three adventures! Daxter, this is an outrage, Jack. We're the heroes. We're the ones on cereal boxes, for God's sake! And I'm about to release my own line of sports shoes! I've got a contract! You're on the mission. Your job is to cover Torn and Jinx in a vehicle filled with explosives. Escort them to the metalhead section, and together you'll blow open the nest. Oh, well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Okay, to the metalhead nest we go. Oh, okay, sweet. Our turret section, I'll take it. Yeah, I will give. I will. I will say the the game Jack Three has a lot of mission variety, similar to Jack Two. Um, maybe a little bit more mission variety. It does keep the game fresh. 